You take the time to dress in Easter best and snap a photo. You have a bazillion pictures from past Easter egg hunts. Jill Broadbent is back to share how to bring those springtime photos forward and enjoy them more. You love to live with photos, to decorate yes. with photos. I'm with you there. Yes, that's my goal. I mean, I want these memories to remind me why do we go to the effort of the Easter dresses? Right. And you want to make the memories. And if you just tuck those memories away on your phone or in an album, you know, that's great, but it doesn't give you the same effect of living with them and having them surround you and bring those reminders out just on the regular. Show us some ideas, Jill, so of how we might do that. Easter is such a fun time. You take so many photos, right? All the Easter egg hunts over the years. Yeah. That's what I've tried to do with a lot of um, my Easter decor is mix in the photos of those memories that we've made. So on this, I just have had this little tree forever and I always had the fun little ornament eggs on it but then I added over the years just little photos from those moments of the Easter egg hunts. I love it. And um, just the backs of them are with some paper and a little tag for the name of whoever is in that picture. Uh -huh. So easy but this is a way you can just add year after year you can add some new photos right you could fill that. the whole tree with just Easter egg hunt photos or maybe it's your Easter dress photos over the so just a fun way to just print them, cut them in the shape of an egg, and tie them on to something that is out invisible. I love it. The kids love it. The grandkids yes, would love everyone it to loves see. To just, yeah. You know, and remember, remember yeah. and see their faces yes. part of your home, part exactly. of your decoration. All right, what else? So I also have this. Um, I don't usually have it on this display. This was a great way to bring it to the show, but I just have a banner. And so again, scraps of paper, pieces yes. of pattern paper, and then I cut a lot of the photos over the years, and then I just sewed those together to a ribbon to create a banner. So when it was a shorter banner, it lived in, on my mantle, then it grew to a larger piece, and every year I just add new photos to that. So by just cute. adding more photos and more pattern paper, you can create that banner. So just I a fun way, it. again, it brings that color and that detail that you want yes. in your decoration, but there's memories mixed in with that. And something as simple as a holiday frame. Right, so I love to just have a frame out all year round that is part of the mix of all the other frames that really don't change over but time, the photo but just change the photo. So yes. this is my daughter who's now graduating from high school, oh but that was her first Easter. So that's oh. a picture that I love to remember and come back to year yeah. after year, you know? Oh. She was just learning to sit up and we stuck the ears on Of course her, you, you know? do, as you do. I know, but when I see that picture, it just brings me back to those times and that memory. Yes. And so just dedicate one frame for the season mm -hmm. and then just swap that photo out. You could even put every holiday's photos in the frame and then you just and move pull it forward. forward you I know? love that so idea. That's a fun Tell me about your tattoo eggs. This is so fun. Is this hilarious? You can use tattoo paper this is the best. and print them. And just like you would put them on your skin, you can put them on the egg. This so is the best. how fun would that be to do an Easter egg hunt where they have <gasps> to find their egg? And then I did one that has all three kids because that could be like the egg that's like, if you find one, that's fair game for anybody, right? Oh <laughs> my gosh, where am I getting tattoo paper? So um, this is the Silhouette brand, um, but on Amazon, you can find that one or any other brands. That was the highest rated, and I really had a good experience using it. And I run it through my printer? Yeah. So you would just size your photos. What? So, I mean, that took up this much of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Right. So you could, and you could use lots of different photos, or you could do 10 copies of the one child. You yes. Know, so that there's multiple eggs. Isn't that so People fun, People often though? ask me if I get intimidated by, or overwhelmed, rather, by all the ideas shared on oh, the yeah? show. And I, I always say, no, I just pick one. Now today I'm feeling like there I want to do all of them. They're so cute. That is darling. My kids would fly. Flip. It's kind of All fun. All right, Jill, thank you. Again, how can we follow you online? Crafty Afternoon on Instagram. Crafty Afternoon on Instagram, sharing the doable, the approachable, the fantastic, excellent, I had to, yes. crafts just like this, <laughs> projects like this to brighten your home and brighten your day. Thank you very much.